parent in the Utah Board of Education member Natalie Klein's district is now reacting to her very latest claims. In letters sent to Mill Creek City Council members, the Granite School District and Midvale City Council, Klein says their calls for her resignation contained, quote, baseless claims and factual inaccuracies. Emma Riley spoke with a parent whose children are in the district she represents and joins us live. Emma. A parent tells me she's not surprised by Klein's emails, and she says she wants the legislature to move forward with her impeachment. I think that the legislator needs to take more of a stand to get her off of the school board because she's clearly not getting the hint from everybody else asking her to resign. Haley Anderson has three children in Klein's district. She says Klein refuses to take accountability. Still being really selfish and thinking about how this is affecting her or affecting her election. This is the email from Utah Board of Education member Natalie Klein to the Midville City Council asking them to appeal a resolution requesting her resignation. She writes that the resolution is unprecedented and contains baseless claims and factual inaccuracies. That is not who we want to represent Utah. That's not who we want to represent the school board. That's not who we want to represent our kids. In a tweet on Wednesday, Midvale Council member Bryant Brown pointed out that Midvale City didn't pass a resolution. They instead sent Klein a letter demanding that she step down. He wrote that Klein is only concerned about her political future. Anderson says she agrees. Only focusing on how this is affecting your life says a lot about a person instead of focusing on how this impacted the student's life. As far as the future of the school district, Anderson says she hopes voters are paying close attention. I hope they vote for somebody who does not publicly bully children on Facebook, which should not be a big ask. We have reached out to Klein for a comment, but she did not. But we have not received a response. If you'd like to read those letters in full, you can find them on our website, KUTV.com. Live in Salt Lake City, Emma Riley, KUTV 2 News.